G'day folks, this is the FA18 in Flatsy Max Acceleration. This video is going to be about just a general system overview of the aircraft, not in too much detail. Later on I'll make some uh, more tutorials on different systems and go into detail in the radar, uh, autopilot and nav and comm systems. Yeah, but this will just be more about just a basic overview. Alright, let's look at the front of the cockpit here. We have the HUD heads up display. This displays our airspeed here, our attitude, vertical speed, barometric pressure, angle of attack, Mach speed, G-force that we're pulling, and maximum G's reached. Up the top here you've got the heading indicator. Down around the bottom here is the bank angle indicator. In the middle here we've got the pitch ladder. And that little thing in the center there wobbling around, that's the flat path vector. Alright, and on the left hand side here we've got the um, angle of attack indexer. You use it to land in, make sure your angle of attack is optimum. Alright, now have a look here in the center we've got what's called the UFC up front con control panel. This is where you control your autopilot. It's where you put in frequencies for communications and navigations. You can see you've got three digital displays, multifunction displays. Now they, they all have the same menus they can all be customized to display any of these sub menus using the soft keys around the outside. So we'll uh, use the left screen here and have a look at what they all are. The first one is SMS, storage, Stores Management System. It's where you control your armaments, but you got no guns in Flatsim, unfortunately, so that's all inoperable. You got the radar. This is a forward looking radar. It's pretty cool. I'll show you how to use that in another video. Another display of the HUD. The HSI, Horizontal Situation Indicator. Plenty of good stuff there and I'll show you more of this stuff on here in another video too. Fuel shows the amount of fuel in the different tanks. FPAS, Flight Plan Analysis Screen, shows you um, the amount of time and nautical miles to go until you get to zero fuel to 2,000 pounds and to bingo state. Now bingo basically means low fuel state and you can select when you want to get warned uh, when that occurs using this knob down here. Sorry, no, this one over here. Um, you can see there the little indicator moves as you scroll that. It's by default it's set at 2,000 pounds. So you get a warning sound once you get down to 2,000 pounds telling you um, low fuel. Also, if you're a flat plan loaded like I do, it will tell you the fuel remaining once you get to that waypoint, how much fuel you have left, and um, the time to get to that waypoint, and um, the pounds per nautical mile that you're using. Alright. EW, Electronic Warfare, that's inoperable. ADI, Artificial Horizon, that's pretty basic. ACL, Automated Carrier Landing. Now this is useful for landing on aircraft carriers. It also displays a bit of info on your autopilot. SA, Situational Awareness, that's inoperable. ENG, just gives you some engine information, really handy stuff. For left and right engine, your e engine status, inlet temperature, 
N1 RPM, N2 RPM, exhaust gas temperature, fuel flow, nozzle position, oil pressure, thrust, fan vibration, exhaust pressure ratio, compressor discharge pressure, compressor pressure ratio, turbine heat acceptance, aircraft mounted accessory drive, oil temperature, engine oil temp, and auxiliary power unit RPM. Then you've got checklist. This is used to you your checks for landing and takeoff. Should be handy. And finally the built in test page. Now most of these submenus here don't need to worry about but over here down here, GDI, if you click that, it goes to this page and you can change the, the appearance of text on these multi-function displays text rendering and line rendering and you've got refresh rate and you can reset that back to the default yeah so that's the all the menus and all these screens can be configured to which one you want Alright, so let's take a look down here. You've got backup instruments for engine and fuel information. Also, down here, you've got a switch for heading. So the heading bug on your HSI there. Also, your heading is displayed there, what the bug's set to. So by scrolling that, changes your heading select. This one next to it is the course select and you can see that there, C cell. That's where you change your course by um, that switch down there. I just use my mouse wheel on that. Alrighty. On the right hand side here you've got backup attitude indicator, backup airspeed, attitude, vertical speed, and over here a backup radar altimeter. Actually that's one thing. If you look here and there's your attitude, but if you switch this switch here to radar, it will now display the attitude, your radar altimeter. Wow, I'm actually about to stall here. I'm just gonna increase my thrust. Yeah, so that's displaying your airspeed um out, sorry, that's just playing your attitude above ground rather than above sea level. Yep, I'm leveling out now. I had the, the throttle a bit too low there. Okay, look on the left hand side. There's your flap switch, landing gear handle, launch bar, um, retract, extend, nanny lights in there parking brake there. Here you've got strobe light on and off, beacon lights on and off, you know, you've got fuel dump, refueling probe extend retract, APU on and off, engine crank, left and right engine, that's for starting up, rudder trim and volume for uh, the audio tone on the radio, on the radio for um, for and ILS and the rest of these switches are non-functional. On the right hand side you got your, your magnetic compass there. You got a, a latch here for your tail hook, another latch here for wing folding so um, yeah, your wings can fold up once you're parked and a, a switch there for the canopy open and close. You've got right generator, left generator, battery switch, anti-ice for um, pitot heat and engine anti-ice, and instrument lights. And all the rest here are non-functional buttons and switches. Down the bottom here you've got a clock and uh, cabin pressure altitude. I'm pretty sure that's not functional though. Yeah, so that is a just a basic 
general overview of the aircraft systems. Stay tuned for some more detailed vids on the autopilot, radar system and navigation and comms. Yep, that's it. Catch you later.